Hey everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing the Tam Anna palette, the Dress Your Face palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now this product is very similar to the other products that she's released in conjunction with IG Beauty Gurus in that it's very similar to the Mia Maya palette and it's also very similar to the um, Amrezi palette. So if you have both those palettes, you may not necessarily need to pick this one up because this looks like they took two of those and meshed them into one. There are slight differences and if you're wondering what's the difference between all three of them, I'm going to be doing a review soon on all three products so you can see straight up um, what each one has in what but today I'm going to be focusing strictly on the Tanrama um, Dress Your Face palette. Now, in terms of what you get when you purchase this product, it does come in a regular box, um, and you do get a few eye looks. Now, the Emrezi palette did not come with eye looks. She's the only guru that did not come with eye looks. Um, Mia Maya's came with eye looks, but I do have to be honest with you guys, these are photoshopped eye looks. Um, you're not going to walk out of the house and your eye is going to look perfectly like that as you can see in her eye. She has um, professional lighting on her face, she has touched it up with photoshop to make it clearer, to up the contrast, so um, don't think that, don't be disappointed if you leave your house and your eye doesn't look exactly like that because nobody walks around with professional lighting on their face. With that being said, um, the tips that they give you are very helpful, so if you're new to makeup or you just want to know how to use this palette, these little step-by-step -step, um, tutorials are really just fantastic. They really do help you to get the look. Um, I just want to be honest with you guys. Like, don't do, don't be disappointed if your your eyes don't look like this when you do this makeup. Plus, uh, some of these include products that are are not in the palette, so it's a little bit disheartening. But uh, in terms of colors, I think they did a great job in colors. Um, there goes the brush. In terms of the colors, I really do like the colors. I think they're quite pretty. Um, if you see this color and this color, very similar to Mia Maya, but I do like the colors of, say for example, I do like Sangria. I like this red color that's included. Um, I like Custom Gilded Blush, but as you can see, a lot of the colors do look similar to her other palettes. You do get a, bl a brush that includes a blender brush and an eyeshadow brush, so you are able to apply this palette, and I'm going to swatch these up for you really quickly right now starting with fresh. This one's a great all over the lid color. It's not too pigmented, but um, it's great for just a wash of color over the lid. Great for priming your eye for other shadows. I usually apply that all over the lid. Next up is blush. Great highlight shade. Um, very bright shade. Then we have Vienzia, which is a pretty blue shade, very similar to the aqua shade of Mia Maya. Then we have Gilded. Gilded's a nice metallic shade that's a little bit gold leaning. Then we have Custom. Custom's a little bit of a gray, kind of slate metallic. Then we have Sangria. This is the shade I loved because it's such a pretty pinkish shade. Great for fall. Then we have Bangle, which is a nice nude shade. Another good shade for fall. Then we have Chocolate. Now this shade gave me a little bit of problem, as you can see it's, it doesn't have even um, swatching, gave me a little bit of a problem. Then we have China Rose, which is kind of similar to the peachy shade in Mia Maya, except for this has a little bit of a, a golden reflection. And then we have Noor, and Noor gave me a little bit of a problem as well. Um, not here, but when I swatched it originally, and you'll see in the picture swatches that it gave me a little bit of a problem. So as you can see, the shades are quite lovely. They're very pretty. They're good for fall. Um, I don't really know who Dress Your Face is. With the other two, I knew them. I know who Amrezi is. I know who Mia Maya Ma 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 Mia is. I have no idea who this person is. Some people have pointed me in the direction of her Instagram, and I'm just like, but I don't know her, <laughs> you know? Um, the concept of these palettes are supposed to be, if you're following all the beauty gurus on Instagram, you can create their looks with shadows they've picked out. I like the concept overall, I just, you know, I don't know these people. Um, one more thing I have to say is that I found the pigmentation of this palette on par with the Amrezi palette, whereas I found the Maya Mia palette, I found that pigmentation to be terrible, um, not not that good, so this one was really good. Um, if you did not pick up Mia Maya, definitely pick up this one, it's, it's better. Um, if you didn't pick up Amrezi and you didn't pick up Mia Maya, this is a good combination of both of them, very similar colors to the two of those shades, uh, two of those palettes, except for you don't get the purple and the green that Amrezi has, but you have a lot of the shades that um, Mia Maya has. So definitely check this out, it's on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website right now, and it might be on Sephora also. Please enjoy the picture swatches, thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe to my fashion blog and follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust.